So, you're listening to Amazing Radio. I'm delighted to say I'm on the phone right now with Role Model. How are you doing? I'm good. How are you doing? Good. I'm very well. Uh, I imagine you're having a great time over here in the UK at the moment. You played in London last night? We did. Our first, our very first London show in Kentish Town. And it was amazing. It was like everything everyone told me it would be, which is very, you know, big relief. Yeah, exciting time for you. And also you played Redden and Leeds at the weekend. How was that? That was fun. Um, it was very fun. That was like an honor. Uh, and yeah, Redding was amazing. I got to see the 1975, which I have never seen them live. And that was that was secretly why I, why I went to the whole festival in the first place. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's one of the good Just things like about the festivals, isn't it? You get to see bands. Free tickets. You would... Yeah, exactly. And get to hang out and stuff like that, don't you? Is there any difference in festival audiences worldwide? I mean, you mean you're in the middle of like a huge global tour. Is it, or, or people just the same everywhere, just people losing the losing shit, basically? Yeah, I do. I agree with that last point. I think everyone maybe is just crazy. I, I will say, I was like, I think European, the, the rumors are true. Like, European crowds are, uh, I shouldn't say that, but they're much better. <laughs> um, they're just crazy. And I love the energy. And they, I said it at a couple festivals. We did Saget in um, Budapest. I think um, we did that festival, like one of the first shows we did when we came over to Europe. And it was like, it blew my mind. Like I was, ex- I don't even know where like Budapest is on a map. And to have thousands of people come to our set that night was like, okay, this is insane. This is going to be a very fun tour. And and it is. And now we're we're here in London and it's still going crazy every night. And do you feed off that energy when you, you you can feel it coming from the crowd? Does that make you go a little bit step further in you know on your in your set? Yeah, a hundred percent. I think that's yeah. And we have you know we have some misses. I think maybe at Leeds we did not play our best show, but Reading was like really kind of made up for it. That was a much better show and made me a little bit happier leaving that festival. Um, but yeah, I mean. It's whatever the audience is giving me is like I can give it back tenfold. That's good. That's good. Um, the album's been out now a little while. Uh, are you excited about how it's been received globally then? I am. It's That's the other thing about Europe that I'm learning. It's like very interesting, the songs that they gravitate towards. And it's so different than the U.S., which is very exciting because... I mean, we're like bringing back songs that we just stopped playing in the U.S. because people are asking for it out here, which is very new. Um, And I love that. I think they have very good taste out here. We're we're playing some songs that I was definitely missing in the U.S. sets. That's good. It sounds like you're enjoying your time over uh, on this continent. And, you know, are, are you learning all the time as well? Is it is it helping the way the songs are being received in terms of maybe your, your, your songwriting? Because of that, you know, you're saying like, you know, the Europeans are accepting more of the songs that you weren't expecting. So is that going to have an influence when you go back to the drawing board, maybe? A hundred percent. I, uh, I mean, so we've been touring since April, which is around when the album came out. It was a pretty quick turnaround. And... But the album had obviously been finished for like three months and I was in this like very just dry spell of not writing anything and uh, it was kind of f***ing me up a little bit. And then as soon as we played our first show of tour, it just like over here too, like it's the same thing. You just, you learn, it's very helpful to just see face to face like what works, what doesn't, what people are loving, what moments in the song get people jumping and like you just take all of that information and then you're very motivated to write songs after that. And there have been a lot of nights where I'll just get off stage and start writing. Cause it's like, you just learn, you learn everything in the, during the shows. So. Well, that was, 
brings me on to my next question. Just how productive are you in terms of writing and getting in ideas down and that kind of thing? Obviously, a, a little bit harder on the road, but are you able to do anything like that? A hundred percent. Yeah, especially in the U- U.S. because... I just like didn't have any motivation to leave the hotels or leave the bus ever. <laughs> um, and so I would just work and write as much as I could here. It's a little bit distracting because I want to like go out and explore. Obviously when we're in like a new country every two days. Um, so it's a little bit harder here, but it's good because you know, you can't not be inspired in London and everything. And I don't know. Are you surprised at how vastly different, you know, waking up in a different country is every single day in Europe? Like the culture, the the language, the the scenery. It's so bizarre how fast it can change, isn't it, in Europe? Dude, I mean, it's insane. It's like this. I had to like start keeping like a little journal um, as soon as I came on this tour because it's just like there's just no there's no like life path or career choice that would like lead you. It's just the weirdest thing that we get to do. And like waking up and you don't even know where you are in the world, but it's like beautiful. And it's like a new culture every morning when you wake up and it's, I don't know. It's it. I'm still trying to wrap my head around it. It's very strange. Um, But I feel very, you know, obviously very grateful to be able to do that. You sound very grateful, and that's a good thing, you know. It sounds like your feet are on the ground to one record in now, but what's next after this huge tour you've been on? Do you go home and sleep for a little bit and then, you know, get back at it? What's the ambitions? Because you've already achieved so much. Yeah, I just want to, like, I just want to keep making music and put out as many albums as I can. And, you know, obviously not... (laughs) pushing them out uh too quickly but you know i just every break we've had on this tour whether it was like a week or two days or two weeks like i've spent it writing and working with the producers and everything so i want to keep doing that and head to new york right after europe well, thanks so much for taking the time i know you've got a busy schedule uh and you've got a few more uk dates uh, to go before you head back over to europe i think so thank you so much for taking the time to speak to us here on amazing Good luck uh, with the traveling and I hope you stay well and healthy and, you know, we'll look forward to see what you do next. Thank you so much. Appreciate it.